Hello guys and welcome back to Comet and this time it's time for a bit different tutorial than usual but we are going to create a Minecraft crafting system. So I think it's obviously there isn't any inventory system or something else that I'm going to explain, only the Minecraft crafting system. So we are just going to do everything with uh, IDs. So for example I want to craft a sword, um, well that's the wrong one, some metal. <laughs> I know those uh, pictograms aren't that good, but as you can see, there's a sword. And for example, if you want something else, I can choose to have a pickaxe, or uh, I mean an axe. So it works, and you know, so first a few important things. I'm not going to explain how to create an inventory system, only going to explain how to create a crafting system like this. So, uh, well, I will jump straight into the tutorial and I will come back when I'm uh, I just started everything. So I started everything and well, as I said, we are going to do it a little bit different than usual because I'm first going to explain what is going to happen. So uh, let's first just create a new script because it's going to be a little bit easier just to create or just to explain everything with a new script. So I'm going to call it Minecraft crafting system. Um, and because somebody asked me how to create something like that. so we're just going to create something like that. Um, but um, the very first thing you have to understand is, um, or the very first thing we're going to create is a class for every item. So we are going to uh, create a new class. Let me just, um, I know this is not right, but let me just check my source script. Yeah, so a public class item. So this is just a basic item and so on. So here we can just have two variables in a public string name and a public uh, sprite in for the image. And uh, of course, if you have your own, uh, if you have your own game, you of course have, uh, for example, damage and I don't know whatever. Um, and here we are going to create another class and this, this is the um, class we are going to use to actually create um, or link the items to their craft ID because they are going to have um, two uh, different IDs. So the first ID is a public int, uh, an item ID. And the second ID, that is a string, because uh, the first number can be a zero. And uh, in a string or in an int, you can't have the first number as a zero. But um, the craft ID. And because one ID is, uh, the item ID is just, you know, just like uh, the first one in the list of all the items is zero and so on. Well, meanwhile, the craftable item um, or the craft ID is the ID of all the items together and um, of uh, of which is uh, it is going to uh, build. So um, I'm going to quickly or I'm going to show you that quickly now. I'm just going to edit it right out. I'm just going to load up my other scene. I'm just going to explain it uh, in that scene. All right, so I'm back at this scene and I'm now going to show you how this works. So here is going to stand, for example, we're going to make a sword. So, uh, oh, that's <laughs> not how a sword works. Um, this is sword. So what's going to do, it is going to say that the ID, let me just uh, minimize this and just let you show you the ID. So the current ID is this. Well, that's a really big number, but let me just explain it quickly. This, there's nothing, so it's going to be called zero. The uh, second number is two, so it's going to add two to the string. Here's zero again, and so on. And then at the end, you will get this um, number here. Uh, the problem with that is what I'm still going to, I will probably fix it later on in this tutorial series, that um, the very first ID of an item is also zero. So that's a bit of, of well, that's, I have to work it out, but I'm going to fix it later on. So that's how this is going to work, this system. So we'll just uh, go back to the other scene and we'll just go on with scripting. 
All right, so we are back and the first thing we're going to do is just get some basic um, basic variables in here and here we are going to add the uh, a few things we're going to use. For example, we're going to use the Unity Engine.ue system. So we're going to add this here and also we are going to use list and we're going to use a lot. So let me just um, put here so we can use it. Um, here, the very first thing is a public bool uh, is crafting. And this is because we have to know, is somebody uh, crafting a system like this? Um, if this crafting or not, because otherwise you won't have to check this always and, and so on. But uh, we are also going to have a list of all the items. Um, and we're going to call it items. Um, and it is a new list. So just for all the items um, that we uh, have. Okay, weird. Um, here is going to be a list of all the craftable items. So uh, so to link everything. So we're going to call it a public list craftable item. Uh, craftable items. And that's a new list. Uh, here we're going to create two lists that we are actually going to use only for this tutorial. Of course, you're going to make a, uh, a drop down thing like in Minecraft, but for here, because we're going to fill in IDs, we're going to use a public list of input fields. I'm going to explain this a bit further in the next part of this tutorial, but for this tutorial, I just want to get all the um, variables in the uh, script itself and also explain why they are there and so on. Um, so this is a new list of input fields. Um, and also a public list of image and did this is something you probably want to have in your uh, you want to have always. Also if you think like I'm not going to use this please add this for now and just go after the, the tutorial uh, finished. Um, just uh, only at that moment start to um, uh, start to change the whole script because otherwise I can't help you if you got any errors. So um, here we I've got something. Here we can also going to add a public string of the current craft ID. So what I explained just that long number is going to be a string and that's going to be called current craft ID. Um, also, what we're going to have is a public int uh, current ID. And uh, that is just from the current weapon or uh, current item you are going to craft. Uh, then we have just a few other things. The uh, and public image wrestled, which just, well, the, the image at the right where you just where the final item is shown and also a public sprite and we're going to call it empty slot so for if there isn't any item in that slot so I know we didn't do that much with this first part of this tutorial but I think um, because I explained a lot about how the system is going to work this is it for this tutorial um, in the next tutorial in the next part we're going to finish the script and then uh, the last tutorial, we are going to do all the UE uh, within the scene. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.